All right, welcome to lab number one of the AC700 course. Um, in this lab, um, what we're going to do is um, basically create a uh, virtual network for our organization. Um, there's a nice scenario available to you in the um, lab instructions. And remember that they are linked uh, in the uh, show notes of this video. In the uh, instructions, there's a really nice picture of what we're going to do. So basically, we're going to have uh, three VNets being created in three different regions. Um, uh, you're also first create, uh, required to create a uh, resource group to be used in my environment that's already created. So I'm not going to do it, but you might need to do it. Uh, I can start directly by creating a uh, virtual network. So let's go to virtual networks. I'm going to create a new one. And now, uh, what we want to do here is first of all put it into our resource group, which is already done. Um, then we're going to call it the uh, core services VNet. For, for this one specifically. Um, and this one is supposed to be in East US. And um, then we have a specific um, IP address that we're interested in for this one, which is 1020.004 four slash uh, 16. Then we want a set of subnets. So um, the first one is going to be called the uh, gateway subnet. That's gateway subnet. Um, then the uh, uh, address range for this one is going to be 10, 20, 0, 0, 4, 7. 27, a fairly small uh, subnet, 567, yeah, that's uh, cool, and note that it allow it asks us to actually go and select the uh, uh, virtual gateway as the uh, subnet type here. Do that. There we go. Um, then the next one uh, is going to be called shared services subnet. So I'm going to uh, type that in there. Um, your data range should be 10, 20, 10, 0, and 24. It's okay. So I'll just add that. Um, these two here. Then the third one should be called a uh, database subnet. It's going to be a 10, 20, 20, 0, well, slash 24. And then finally, we want to have a public web service subnet. It's going to be 10, 20, 30, 0, 4. All right, so we have all of our subnets here. So let's create that. And the first one's the 27. Remember that. Sorry about not getting that right. Yeah, 27. All right, so while that is going, let's create another sub uh, virtual network. Same resource group. This one's going to be called the manufacturing VNet. And this happens to be in West Europe. All right. 
and the IP address range for this one is going to be 10 0, uh, 10 30 0, 0. and again 16 and then we have a set of subnets again that we want to create so the first one is going to be the uh, manufacturing system subnet and it's going to be uh, 30.10 and uh, size 24 the next one is going to be called sensor subnet 1 it's going to use uh, 20.0 network Next one's going to be called Ho. It's going to use the 21.0 subnet, uh, sorry, IP. And then finally, we're going to have the uh, sensor subnet 3. It's going to use the uh, 22.0. That's what it looks like. Let's create. All right, and then our final VNet. is going to be the uh, research uh, VNet. And that's going to be in uh, Southeast Asia. And here the IP range is going to be 10.40.16. And here we just need one subnet, so I'm just going to edit the existing one. We call the uh, research system subnet. It's going to be 10.40.0.0 for the IP. Let's create that one as well. Perfect. So this concludes our lab. If we now go to the virtual networks, we can see we have three. There it is. Um, the core services VNet is in East US, the manufacturing VNet is in West Europe, and the research VNet is in Southeast Asia. The core services VNet has subnets as required. Showing us here the uh, public web service subnet database, the gateway subnet, and down here the shared services subnet, the manufacturing VNet here, and again it has the uh, three different sensor subnets one two and three and then the uh, yeah, manufacturing system subnet and then finally the research vnet is here and it only has one subnet so that is the research as required thanks for listening to this lab and uh, see you next time Thank you.